Hi everyone and welcome to the first in a series of videos taking you in depth with the various features in Project Cars. Now, the logo for Project Cars consists of four stripes, and these relate to the four broad categories of how you can play the game. Career, Solo, Online, and Community through the Driver Network. You can access all of these quickly and easily from the Race Central Hub. In this video, we're going to have a look at your career. Now, the career mode in Project Cars was influenced by a number of things. Treating the driver like an athlete, as is common to see in a sports title. Reflecting the real-life structure, path, and opportunities of real-life drivers. And suiting the habits we have as gamers nowadays, in a world where we've both played many, many racing games before, and also have less time on our hands due to the many other distractions in today's busy, connected lifestyle. With that said, let's jump in to see how things take shape. First of all, you're going to create your driver persona. Now this is your name, how you're going to be identified on social media, the region you're going to represent, and your car number. And you can also see different historic goals possible to achieve in your career. These draw inspiration from real racing legends, and we've made them free form, so you can strive for these in any order. You can do one of them, or none at all. Of course, if you manage to complete them all, then there's a special place awaiting you in the Hall of Fame. We'll come back to that later. Once you're all set, the next thing to do is choose where you want your journey to start. Now, unlike other games that make you grind your way up from the bottom, we wanted you to be able to jump straight into what you love doing. So if you've got a passion for the fast pace of open wheel formula racing, you can start right there. Similarly, if you're a fan of GT, then it's instantly accessible without you having to earn XP first to unlock it. If of course you do want to start at the bottom and work your way up through the tiers, then that's entirely possible also. The zero to hero historic goal would be your reward for doing that. So hopefully you can see the project cards break from tradition here with how your career path is going to progress and everyone's is going to be different. Once you've chosen the starting point, sign your first team contract from those available and let's get started. Welcome to Formula A, the apex of open wheel formula racing. You'll be racing in the Formula A World Championship to prove yourself as the greatest driver in open wheel racing. Each round features a single race. Points are scored by the top 10 finishers. The pit lane is open for repairs and tire changes, but no refueling is allowed during qualifying or races. This is it. It's time to start your Formula A World Championship Challenge. Your career dashboard is where you'll get updates of the motorsports world happening around you and get feedback from a growing legion of fans on your progress. It looks like they're already excited at your first signing. So you can also talk with your team receive offers from scouts and various companies, and review the results, standings, and regulations of your current chosen racing discipline. You can also check progress on your career via the Driver Network profile. Here you can see progress towards historic goals and Hall of Fame status, any accolades earned that may attract the attention of scouts from other teams, any endorsements signed, and any invitations received to take part in special exhibitions or owners club events. We'll take a look at other parts of the driver network in another video. Jump into your career calendar and you'll see all the events scheduled that season. They should be very familiar to fans of sports games and those that follow motorsports in real life. Select a day and you'll get more detail on it along with your eligibility and the ability to set their length and difficulty. Again, this is just another example of how Project Cars caters for those that are either veteran racers or newcomers. It looks like the first event this year is a practice session at Hockenheim. You can either play that event or simulate it and move on to the next. So let's do that and move straight to the qualifying session where we'll head into that into the next video, so stay tuned for that coming soon. <laughs> 